All right, we're here. 1939 Echo Park Ave. It's at the corner of Duane and Echo Park. This is in the heart of Echo Park. Here's the neighborhood. If you're familiar with Echo Park, here is the famous Echo Park Avenue Market. And if you go up that way, uh, one street, there's that restaurant Fix. It used to be called Fix, but they changed it to something. So anyway, this is the virtual tour. This is gonna be kind of long, just letting you know. Uh, but this is a very unique property. It's two houses on a lot. We're trying to rent it to one person. So let's start the tour. Walking in the parking area, you have ample on-site parking and covered. You have a garage up there, we'll get to it. But uh, here's the front house. It's been freshly, I don't wanna say fully remodeled, but nicely updated. Here is your front yard. And the owners are okay with if you wanted to plant your own little garden down here, you're more than welcome to do so. You have plenty of space to do that. All right, that's the front of the house. Here's the side yard and walkway up to the uh, the second house we'll get there in a second but let's walk in the front door the front house all right so I have a little patio out here to easily fit a table and five or six chairs And you walk in, and you have a, I don't know what you call this, maybe an indoor patio, but it's probably 20 feet by 6 feet. And then right off to your left here is the main living, dining, kitchen area. And this is a quite a large area. And then right off to the right here is the first bedroom. It's a good sized room, has a closet. Uh, I would have to say this is probably uh, maybe 18 by 15. It's a pretty large room. Uh, I guess this would be considered the master because it does have its private bathroom. storage as you can see here so that's the bathroom all right first room done now let's go back out into the living dining area let me get you a view from this angle kitchen. This is a large enough space where you could <clears throat> uh, easily put a breakfast table right there in the corner or you could put some stools on either side because you have this little bar here. And yes, I know. I know what you're thinking. Not a whole lot of counter space. You were right, but can't have everything, I suppose. All right, so this is the second common bath for the two other rooms. And then 
lift off the kitchen are the other two rooms. So this is the second biggest room. <clears throat> this is probably, I don't know, 18 or 20 by 15. You have a walk-in closet here. And then you have this kind of squirrely room right here off the left, off the uh, left of the hall. And this does not have a closet, but it could certainly be used as a bedroom. And you'd have to put a uh, clothes rack in here or something. But if you have a minimalist roommate like myself, that would be not a problem. All right. So back into the kitchen. So I think you get the gist of what this front house is like. It does have central AC and heat. Big plus. Here's your patio again. Looking down into the front yard. Okay, let's go out the back of the front house. Show you the <clears throat> uh, garage space. And then we'll go up to the back house. All right, so we walked up. That's where we came in. So you have this very long driveway. You could fit easily fit an Escalade through there, if not a bigger vehicle. Uh, and then here is the, the garage. Pardon me. Two-car garage. And you said you said this slides, right, Jesus? This slides. Yes. Yeah. So this slides, you can open it. Oh, I see, I see the joints right here. All right. So that's the two car garage. And now let's walk to the, uh, that's pretty cool right there. So let's walk back to the second house. And as I said up front, you have, again, another garden area back here. The owners are fine with you planting whatever you'd like. All right, so here's the side of the house. There's the AC unit. They really did a nice job. New, new uh, I don't know, cement tiles. New gate here. All right. On to the second part. Show you the little garden here. And that structure, that's the garage. I mean, this is a very, if you can't tell already, this is probably, well, definitely the most unique property that I manage. Uh, but I mean, this is definitely a unique property within the Echo Park community for sure. Okay, so now we're at the second landing of the second back house. You have this little area to sit. You can put a table out here. Through that door right there is the water heater. And up there you have a storage unit. You have more. That's right through here. So there's just a one bed, one bath, back house. Uh, upon walking in, you have, I guess you would call this, I don't know, I'd probably set this up as a, I don't know, maybe a TV room? Yeah, probably be right, you put your TV right there. And you have a, actually have more counter space in this unit than you do in the front house. This is a good size room, easily can fit a table and chairs right here. All right, 
and this unit does not have central AC, so you'd have to get some uh, um, wall, I'm sorry, window units. So this is the room, it does not have your typical closet, but it does have space to hang, and hang clothes and store stuff. And then this is your bathroom. Here's the sink. And this door just goes out to the back here. Which we'll go check that out here in a second. And then you have the two doors. What's that movie, The Labyrinth? Where he has to choose which door to go through. So there's door number one, you have your shower. And then door number two, your commode. And that's that for the back house. So, let's just take a look around the back house here, just so you can see the full extent of the property. Beautiful view as you walk out of the back house here. You got this guy, I'm not sure who that is, but he is here for you. That's the, this tin roof is the garage. Looking down into the garden area. Oh, I almost forgot. This is community uh, laundry room here. And everything you see here comes with the building, or with the rental. And the AC units there, you can use those, those are for you. Fan. But washer and dryer on the premises, which is really cool. Alright, now, another, I don't know what you'd put back here. And no, unfortunately, the tree house is not included. But here's another storage, seating, I don't know, whatever you want to call that. More space. And then this is the boundary lines of the property right here, this fence. And lastly, we have a storage set shed and easy roof access if you ever wanted to lay out on the roof and admire the views of downtown Los Angeles. So that's that's it. That's the tour. You have a beautiful view of the Echo Park Hills. You're not far from Lassen's. You're not far from that restaurant up the street. Sunset right down the street and this is the heart of Echo Park and it's a very unique property with a lot of space a lot of cool features and really everything you need it's like a compound because the fence up there you know you drive your car in you lock the fence there ain't nobody getting in this place so I don't know I just think it's a really neat property so Appreciate you watching. I know it was long, but there's so much to show with this property. So if you're interested, respond to the ad, please. Make sure you email us. If you don't email us, there's a good chance we will not get your inquiry. So please make sure to email us. Thanks again for watching. Bye.